Okay, team, this is connected to this previous problem involving this data set here. And we're going to reference back to this one in just a moment. But why don't we start by just reading the question over? Uh, these are connected. This is the next question in that set of questions on the 62 reading specialist test. Uh, why don't we just start by reading the question? So take a moment now and read that to yourself. Go ahead. And unpause. Unpause me. Unpause. So it says, according to the assess, according to the assessment evidence provided, um, the student would benefit most from being grouped with other students who need targeted, explicit instruction in reading and spelling, which are the following types of words. So let's just go back to that list of uh, words. This is the this is the assessment that was provided. And in doing this assessment, we noticed that there was a pattern in, because look, they, they really got all these wrong, except for one. So that was the only one they got right. Everything else is wrong. This uh, was all involving long vowel patterns. So we could say uh, long, long vowel syllable patterns. We could say uh, long vowel phonics patterns, however you want to say it. They're having difficulty with long vowel syllable types or, or and, uh, so a little bit of magic E going on, a little bit of vowel diagraphs going on, okay? But this is the this is what the issue is based on this data. And that's what we saw before. So let's look at the answers, options. Let's look at the answer options. <laughs> Let me find it. Okay. Uh, in looking at this one right here, it says, uh, what would they need explicit instruction on? Uh, and we have a whole bunch of options. Now I want to circle this. I want to go back to these words and I want to erase all our wonderful analysis for a moment. Do you notice that these words are all single syllable words? They're all one syllable. Is that right? So it's really um, the students having difficulty with single syllable words, pretty much involving long vowels, right? Okay, so let's now go back to the question. So they wouldn't need explicit instruction in multi-syllable words. Nope and nope. Do you agree? Because these are all single-syllable words. So B and C are out. Okay, so they're going to need explicit instruction in single-syllable words. So, so the next one, right? Check, check with silent E or short vowels, which is the issue. And when we did it, we were like, you know what? The issue in these ones here is that one. So long so they're having difficulty with single syllable, uh, long vowel uh, pa phonics patterns involving, um, we could say uh, long vowel patterns involving silent E, right? That was, that's, that's the way of saying this one here. Single syllable, long vowel patterns involving silent E or B, C, E. Okay, pretty cool, huh? You know, team, you're getting the language that you can embed on your test. If you see this, a student having difficulty in, with words like this, then you on your test can say this, the, uh, the student needs targeted explicit instruction and reading and spelling involving single syllable words with the phonic long vowel phonics pattern silent E, right? And the, the grader would be like, that was amazing, right? Okay, the answer is A, and it is from that reading specialist test, and uh, it's a good one. Uh, you don't have to be a reading specialist to do this test, but it is a little challenging. But hey, if you're up for the challenge, this is a good one. And look at all the vocab that you get to do in the course of doing these problems here. You get to review some of these, uh, some of these vocab words, right? Okay, um, let's keep going. I think I got one more in this set, one more juicy one for you. Okay, let's do the next question to you.